what's happening everybody uh, getting ready to head to work here this is actually my second ride of the work to the uh, second ride of work to work for the week I can't talk straight but uh, I didn't record yesterday because I did my mail call Monday video and it was another cloudy day and it's kind of old after a while recording them in the cloudy days so but uh, today's nice and sunny clear day it's only in the 50s but it feels a little bit warmer than that but I'll take it still pretty cold for being the end of May and being on my summer hours which I started at work yesterday but uh, I'm riding my bike for the first time today with the uh, Dino Jet PV3 uh, I bought it through Fuel Moto and they sent me a tune for it and actually the tune that they had sent me for my setup is actually for a stock bike uh, they don't have anything specific for the uh, Crusher Mavericks and of course I still have the stock intake on this bike but uh, they uh, they claim to get about two more foot pounds of torque and about 12 more horsepower out of stock uh, Indian Scout 60 so but this is my initial ride with it and I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see how it feels of course two foot pounds of torque I'm probably not going to notice it necessarily but uh, really I don't know if I'll notice the 12 horsepower either I mean that's a that's a pretty big jump for uh, horsepower for a motorcycle for just adding a tuner but uh, somewhere down the line of course I'm going to have to put an intake in this and I'll do a reflash but, the reflash wasn't too bad now that I know what I'm kind of doing but uh it took me a while to get through the uh get through the get it through my head that I had to put the original tune and the uh new tune that fuel moto is on my desktop I couldn't put it in any other folders it didn't want to work I struggled with it for a little bit uh today tried to redo it a few times finally I think I finally got it right but everything the uh stock stock uh, tune is still on my laptop and of course it's still on the PV3 which is nice with the PV3 it'll actually hold uh, hold a couple tunes on it which Fuel Moto actually uh, downloaded all the uh, recommended tunes for the different things that uh, DinoJet had on their website it'd just be a matter of me setting it up but when I go to get the uh, go to put an intake on there which I don't know what I'm going to do I'll have to reflash it again but I know they have tunes for like the uh, SNS intake and Trask intakes. Like I said, they don't have anything for the Cruf Crusher Maverick slip-ons. But they do have them for uh, a couple other exhausts. But we'll have to test this thing out today and see if I really notice any difference. I mean, the good thing is I can actually start the bike. You know, that's the scary part. When you go to run the tuner, the tuner actually erases the stock ECU. any real hard pull going from uh, 45 up to about 70 fourth to fifth gear I didn't really need it, notice anything that's all right I know sooner or later I'm gonna need that uh, the tuner anyway if I do the intake I think that's probably where I'll notice the biggest difference is once I put an, uh, a better intake on here but who knows I may go with a two and the one exhaust they say the two and the one exhaust is better for uh, torque anyway and I could always try and sell the uh, Crusher Mavericks later on or something I like my Crusher Mavericks so I really enjoy the uh, sound that they put out so we'll see I know there's a couple of uh, actual dyno dyno tuners and uh, there's one in Erie and I know Harley Davidson of uh, Jamestown is, con is a dyno tuner I don't know if they'll necessarily do my bike since it's an Indian I don't think they do that. They may not do any tuning other than with uh, Harleys. But I always, you know, I couldn't hurt to ask. But I know Dino Jet recommended those two as far as uh, within uh, 50 miles or so of uh, NEPA. But I may do that later on. Who knows? But uh, I definitely want to do the intake. That's that. They may be able to make a few more adjustments on an actual dyno tuner get some real numbers on it that's the hard part I mean uh, the only numbers I'm getting is what it's feeling in my uh, butt cheeks and I'm telling you it ain't much 
I said though, two foot pounds of torque aren't going to matter too much, on, pretty much on anything. You know, but I just, uh, like I said, I, I've been happy with the Indian Scout 60s power. I just, I'm ready to try to move up a little bit more. And I don't want to buy a new bike. I like this bike. The other thing I'm going to be interested to see, and I probably won't be able to do it until I've uh, ridden a bike a few times and had a refuel, what my uh, gas mileage goes to. I haven't been measuring it lately, but I know last year my uh, trips back and forth to work, you know, and I, I'm kind of heavy handed when I'm riding back and forth to work on the highway. So I generally would only get like maybe 45 or 46 miles per gallon. Usually on my Friday rides, I'm a little slower. We'll ride the uh, little bit of mix of highway and back road, but I know if I stay on the back roads the whole way, I've gotten like 52 miles per gallon. So this may be a uh, kind of a seasonal challenge to see uh, how the fuel mileage is now. I'm hoping I didn't lose any. To say I only have a 3.3 gallon tank on the Scout 60, and the Scout for that matter. And uh, of course no gas gauge. say so far my initial uh, review of just adding the uh, dyno jet pv3 is uh let's eh. say i don't haven't really noticed any uh big change i don't know if the bike the bike's not really i mean the bike always ran smooth to begin with i never really had any issues with uh how the bike ran other than the, you know if it was colder than hell and i didn't have the bike on the trickle charger but See, I don't really notice any difference. The bike usually pulled itself up this hill pretty well on its own anyway. We'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe the intake will make a big difference. Like I said, who knows. Like I said, sooner or later I'm going to have to replace, I want to replace that anyway. I'm kind of waiting until the uh, original filter gets dirty, get the lifetime use out of it. I'm thinking probably maybe toward the end of the season or something, trying it again and uh, that way I can kind of get a few runs with the uh, a new tune and filter and everything. Maybe somewhere down the line I'll change the exhaust again, but I don't know. I like this exhaust. Time will tell. We'll say I'm only in my uh, second year of ownership of this. I still it's still under warranty, so. That's my, uh, so far my initial review of uh, the DinoJet PV3 on a uh, somewhat stock Indian Scout 60 2018. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, I don't notice any real difference. Let's say this was already a pretty smooth running bike and had a decent amount of power, but I say I'll have to do another review maybe later on once I get the uh, get an intake and stuff for it and reflash it. But uh, I guess I'll talk to everybody later. Bye for now. Are you turning or going straight, dude? What the fuck are you doing?